Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to bring to you this new smartphone printer that takes no Wi-Fi, no app, all you need is the printer and your smartphone device. This is so exciting, I was so excited about this event I went to last night, I just had to get up early today, that's why I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, but to show you guys what this printer does. It's honestly unreal. So it's by this brand called Tommy. I think it's called Key Pick, I think that's how we're gonna say it. I don't even know what colour I've got, you know. It's so exciting. I'm just gonna unbox this for you guys and show you how it works. So it's like this. So they've kind of brought back old school and that's why it feels so much like a toy. So you kind of push down and push out and then that kind of lifts out and then you get this little, let's call this the framer. You're then going to choose a photo from your phone, it just needs to be on your screen. So that's what I mean, what's so amazing about this product is it can literally be of anything because you can screenshot something. So I'm just gonna choose a random photo. I was having so much fun with this at the event last night. I was like, next, <laughs> next. And this product's also just so nice for memory. It also just takes the Insects mini Fuji film again. So you're not having to go buy different film. Like I already have loads of this film anyway because this is what actually I use for my business card. Yeah, so it's just using the same film. So you're literally gonna only be investing in the actual camera, which by the way, is only 39.99, which I couldn't believe when I actually saw on the website because I was like, I was expecting it to be a lot more than that. Anyone else just hate the iCloud right now. Like it's just literally just loading. Like, haven't got all day, hun. So this is the photo I'm going to use. It's a picture of Betsy Blue in the supermarket, which I absolutely love. I think it'll look quite cool on a little Polaroid. To put the film in, you just do the same as if you're familiar with Instax, which would be so easy for you guys. Just at the back, you just pull that out and you just slide your film inside like so. And it is the same as the Instax Fuji one where you do just have, the first one is just like a, a protector. So you need to use this little feeder clockwise. Magic. Bye Felicia. I can't even say that right, hilarious. So on this little framer as we're calling it, you'll see that there is a sticky side which you just need to lift that stickiness off. The stickiness also indicates that that's the part that you need to stick to your phone. When you put the framer on your phone, the larger bit of this bit is to the right. So here's your image and then you're gonna put that way you're 100% gonna get your image up the right way when it prints out. Also be aware that obviously it is taking a photo of what's on your screen. Make sure that it is not black when you press your shutter button. You can also zoom in and you can decide like how, what you want in your photo. I'm just gonna go like that. So you've got two twos and a large two and you're just gonna connect it like so. Isn't it so cute? And then I'm just gonna twist it around for you guys. This is the most exciting part. So I'm just gonna make sure that my image is visible. And then also there's a little tiny mirror here, which you can also see your image, which is just to indicate that's what you're taking a photo of. And then this is the exciting part. So this is your little shutter button. I love the sound, ready? Ah! So exciting. And then you just literally turn this clockwise. How this works is literally insane. Oh my god, it's developing! Why do I just love Polaroids? They're just so exciting. I literally love them. My whole room could be filled with Polaroids. It would. My final Polaroid. I kind of just want to show you guys examples of how it can go wrong and for you not to make these mistakes. So this one is one where the screen just went black. I left the photo on too long. So yeah, that's just to show you like, what can happen. And then also if we don't put that thicker margin on the right hand side of your image, you can also end up with an upside down image. So they're just some easy mistakes that you can make. Another thing that I wanted to experiment, and I actually did try this last night at the event because I was just so excited. The owner was there and I was like, I was like, hey, does this do double exposure? And he was like, yeah, actually it goes up to three. And the way you can do double exposure is instead of rolling it out once you press the shutter, is literally change your photo 
and then press the shutter again and then roll it through again so i think the best way this works is if you have like a portrait of someone with not really a busy background quite a plain background and then maybe a really busy photo with no one in it of like some flowers or something like that so i tried this last night i'm going to redo it now for you guys and show you how i did it place it on top of the little tooths which just goes on like so and then this is where you can check the little tiny mirror and also just see how it went black make sure you just tap your screen to make sure that it does come back on so then you're just going to press the button and then going to lift my phone and then select my other image. This is going to be this photo I took at Peggy Portion, which is just some lovely flowers that I think will look really nice overexposed. So then you're just gonna do the same thing again, make sure your margin's on your right, and then press your button again, and then roll out. Oh, I'm so excited for this one to develop. So guys, it's just developed. I'm actually in love. I feel like you've had so much more of an impact in its creativity because you've actually physically done it yourself and you haven't just put it in Photoshop or whatever. I think that looks really cool. And like, it makes me really excited about what else I can create doing double exposures using this. And I want to use free as well. I'm going to try doing free exposures as well. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about this really amazing new product. Please subscribe for more photography videos and I'll see you in my next video. Another night of rain drops for me. I used to wish that